Go. Okay, what are we trying? A lot of times it's something we have to ingest and we're not happy about it. Today have you ever noticed no different. when Eric brings something in, like last week I brought you delicious potato chips. <laughs> Eric brings Those are so good, by the way. Thank poison. you, Ryan. A poison. Hey, poison. Yeah. It can't be poison. They sell it. Well, I guess you can sell <laughs> yeah, cigarettes. What is, what's the yeah. ingredients in that? Do it's they even add ingredients? Yeah. candy. I bet you can't pronounce half the words. Uh, ingre- sugar, natural jalapeno extract, turmeric extract, natural vegetable color. That's all we got. Ooh. What? Ranch, candy. sugar, Tip. natural Whoa. flavors. Natural flavors. Natural flavors. I'm, I'm ready mean? to dig in for the jalapeno. From beaver butter or something? Like, yeah, beaver ass. Like- beaver- <laughs> 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 okay, so our kids were together over the last couple of days, my daughters and Eric's daughter, and they went to Five Below, courtesy of old Uncle Eric over here. And Money they bags. found the, these <laughs> cotton candy bags. containers. He's the five below daddy. I, I, how should we tackle this? I feel like we would all prefer the spicy jalapeno to the yeah. ranch. Sweet heat. Oh, yeah. So, so let's let's start should we ranch do it first, first or should we start with the nightmare first? Nightmare, no, nightmare let's first. Start with the ranch. I feel like we should try with the ranch first because once the jalapeno like is really spicy it and it lingers, the f- then it may take mm. away the flavor for uh, the who ranch. Who wants to smell it first? It's, oh, not, it's got a package. Listen, yo, we had the Kevin? ranch ice cream and it smelled bad and that was cold. Imagine how bad this is. Ready? Oh god. Oh. No, 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 oh. no, 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 it's pungent. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh. Oh. You know you have to like hold your nose to eat it so you can't taste it, but we're not oh, going to hold our nose. It smells nasty. <laughs> so how are we going to get it out? Do you have a fork you or just something? pull at it. With your fingers, your fingers. cotton your candy, fingers. just pull at it. Use your tongue. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it melts. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> like you, want to, the you want me to be the guinea pig? Please. Well, do yeah. we all try at the same time? Yeah, so I'll just double chicken out. We'll be like, oh, I don't want to do all right, Yeah, all right. because if we see somebody's bad go. reaction. I don't have enough water. I certainly not. <laughs> One little bit is all it takes. Oh, be disgusting. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. Let's, it'll go down the line like the wave at a baseball yep. game. Oh, here. God's turn. Oh, it's awful. Amon, Amon is a huge amount. He just wow, ate. Wow, he went, he went big. And, of course, he likes the ranch soda, so oh, I bet you like God, this. Gross. The sweet in the ranch, you like he it. He likes it. <laughs> of course you do. Ew, God. Hey, here I go. It's not bad. It, oh. smells it smells awful. It's awful. The smell uh, gets you. Uh, I took mm. too big of a oh! Oh! I told you, Roll. It's that awful. Is not good. It's uh, awful. It's like sweet and... <laughs> the no. worst, like no oh one, my God, Amad. the essence of that is horrific. Amad, I, don't, I don't, cannot. I don't want you to try have this. damaged taste buds, my I friend. I do not have damaged taste buds. Right. I have that an extensive awful. palate. It's like the essence cloud you in your mouth goes straight to your nose on this yeah. range oh, He's candy. going back for more. Are Ke- you kidding me? Ke- no. Okay, Eric and Kevin, go. Together, just toast it. I don't want that. Oh, God, it's wretched. Wretched. Oh, <laughs> I want to take down this jalapeno right oh. now to get this ranch out of my mouth. Here, pass that oh, down, please. Down. That is so <laughs> vile. Sam Water is made it worse. Oh, God. Here, hiding. here. Chase it with jalapeno air. Grab some of this. Oh, God, you and Kevin, grab some of that. Oh, grab some of that. Oh, We're right. going to try jalapenos in time. Oh, Sam hasn't tried ranch. Sam's going for ranch right now. Go, oh, right. go, Sam. Sam, go, go. go. You see that essence no. stink in oh, your mouth? Goes right to your nose. Oh, God, it gave me chills. Look at this bad. Ah. Oh, right, let's try the jalapeno. Here. here we go. Sam just fell down. Look jalapeno is way better. I'm just oh, jalapeno to hide. is way better. Oh, God, that's bad. Well, the jalapeno is not bad. It's I like stuck in my teeth. Though. Oh, it's got mm. a little after. Wait, wait a second, Ew. and it hits you. Hit that, ra- hit that um, jalapeno sandwich after the ranch. It'll just. I don't know about that. Make it that I think that's worse. Mine fell on the floor. Okay, I don't the ra- even uh, the jalapeno just tastes like sweet cotton candy with a little burn. Oh, my God. Thank God. Thank God. But it does burn. It does burn. That's not bad. Spicy jalapeno cotton candy and ranch dressing cotton candy. Oh. Ranch dressing was so terrible. That oh, ranch. Yeah. And I'm not crazy about the heat. Oh, man, I'll, that I gotta, heat hits you like about that's good. five, ten I, seconds I gotta later. I got to keep eating it so I can get rid of that horrific ranch disaster. Wow, that was bad. Ah. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. That might have been one of our worst ones in a long time. The pickle mm-hmm. one was really bad, I thought, but... No, the, the ranch, ranch, ranch takes the cake. The, oh, man. The enjoy pickle that. one was better than the ranch for sure, but the ranch is not like what y'all are dying. Are you nuts? You are crazy. Dude, that I'm essence crazy. cloud of like oh. milkiness. Stink. Oh, yeah. 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 The stink on that it is, is so, so bad. That's it's turn off. People it's a, it's stink is not enough. Enough. Waste your money I on should ranch offer my husband candy. this because he hates ranch. Oh, yeah, and I should just be like, hey, babe, you should try this. I got some marshmallow flavored cotton candy because it's white. Oh, my God. 
like, please, here's please. some marshmallow. Don't divorce me. And film <laughs> please, can you film this? Tell him it's marshmallow oh. flavored yeah, cotton yeah. candy. Oh, yeah. And then just film well, him. I should make Santiago try it, too. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Oh, don't do that yeah. to your so baby. You know, You've got family that staying you at the house right now, right? You love your baby They're actually leaving. Give that to him as a departure gift. I don't think. I wouldn't torture them with that. Oh, man. Five Below. If you go to Five Below right now, they have it. Was there other flavors as well, or were these the most, like? My wife took them, so I don't know, but they would have taken they would have bought all the bad ones yeah, if they yeah, saw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they God. bought the two that they thought we ranch, it just lingers. Yeah, it's like the coffee won't even destroy mm. it. I know. I had yeah. to keep being the spicy jalapeno, Kev, so to horrible. get rid of that ranch. That was pretty good, the spicy jalapeno. The spicy one yeah, was good. didn't bother me. It's not like I'd seek you it out. You want to mix them together, Mod, since you like oh, the ranch? You wanna, you wanna do a oh, mashup? Oh, yeah, did you mash them up together? I said I would, Sam, but I chickened out on that challenge. It was so devastating to have that on my cheese I'm a ranch lover. I dip everything in ranch. Oh, no. I know, but you can't honestly say that tastes like ranch. Ranch, though. It's, it's, like it's like a milky, If somebody took the, like, the dust of the ranch pack, powder together. packet yeah. and yeah. they just goes in your yeah. mouth. Or it came from a ranch with horse poop in it. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like something I'd throw up. <laughs> yeah, that was, that okay, was so awful. you just put the ranch with the spicy jalapeno together. And? I can't even go near that ranch one again. Mm-mm. The spicy jalapeno just overpowers everything. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, okay so you good. don't taste yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take your word for it, honey. So I'm going to try it again. If you want your kids to have some fun, get the ranch one. No, yeah, ranch. if you want to get them sick, you won't get I sick. Get sick. No, it's just it's you know natural uh, ingredient. Yeah. Because when we had Van Lewin's ranch dressing ice cream in here, I didn't tell Ugh. my kids what it was. And after dinner, they're like, "Yay, ice cream!" And I'd put a little scoop like in everybody. What they bowl. think of the ice cream? What is this? Yeah. I recorded it. It was on Instagram oh, yeah, yeah, at Radio yeah, 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 Rula. Yeah. If you want to dig back when we did that, uh, I think two, it was like last year, or maybe two years ago. Maybe? Has it been two years? Yeah, they just totally were thrown because that was like real creamy, milky, like frozen yeah. with that oh. ranch dust. So the terrible. essence, yeah. the power of the essence of that ranch flavoring is not. That's what's People still ate lingering. The ice cream with actual hot wings too. Remember oh they yes, were that's right. That? They were doing that. Mm-hmm. We got to try that Sonic one. People are saying to oh, the Dr the, Pepper with a pickle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I, I would totally that. try. They put a try. Pickle in it? Yeah, it's yeah. Like they cut put like the the little chips from the oh, burger, yeah. pickle yeah. chips. Yeah. Because that's we had right. a pickle flavored like whiskey, and Sam like cherry. that. Did you ever drink any more of that, or is that just more like? It's Here's just kind of whiskey. chilling. It's chilling right now. Offer it to your in-laws. Well, we had no power. Let's have some pickle whiskey. Yeah, that pickle whiskey was bad. Yeah, Didn't we get you to drink the, uh, Eric, when we brought in the uh, the peanut butter whiskey? I don't remember if we tried that. I can't remember. That was we did do that. It's actually yeah. not bad. I just don't like awful. caramel. You don't like flavored okay, things. Okay, so next week, Sam, I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring Q-tips for everybody. Next week, I already have next week's. Mm-hmm. It's called Wonder Lip Stain Mask. Wonder Skin. Lip and stain. It's basically, we all put it on. Oh. Mm-hmm. It goes on like a purple spackle, like a really deep purple spackle. And it doesn't come off. And then you wipe it off, mm-hmm. and depending on your, I guess, your heat levels in your body, like a mood uh-huh. ring? It, it's going to show the color. And not like a mood ring of like the 90s where like, oh, it's going to keep changing yeah. colors. It's just whatever's going on with your body chemistry, mm-hmm. we should all have different colors on our lips. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. It's uh, called yeah, like a rainbow flag. <laughs> I mean, yeah, either that awesome. or it'll be like real green. Or greasy. You know, green and herbal oh, looking. Herbal, for, yeah. Money, yeah, yeah. for money, you mean? <laughs> yeah, a little yes, possibly. Because you're yes. so rich? Mm-hmm. For money. Because I'm a multi-millionaire. Real <laughs> 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 multi-millionaire. I love every week it is. It just grows exponentially. Multi-millionaire. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change subjects here because the thing we're about to do next, let me just set this up for you. You know in the movie Back to the Future where the McFlies can just never handle being called chicken? Mm-hmm. And no matter how much control they think they're going to have, what are you, chicken McFly? Nobody calls me chicken. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I feel like this is what the listener line caller did to Ryan and Eric. It's like, oh, you don't think we have the stones to play your call? Yeah, and I'm well, we're going to play it because yep. this person is trapping you. She's daring by us. By saying chicken. She's saying. You'll never play we this. We will not play this. I need uh, Kevin and Ahmad here to be part of this. Yeah, because yeah. I haven't heard this. You've I have not, not heard, heard this either. yet. Yeah. I don't think Rula and Sam mm-hmm. have heard this yet no. either. Nope. All I know is that the caller has issued the challenge of you will probably never play this call, and I just feel like the McFly's and, uh, over here. Like, I'll take that chicken plus, challenge. I wanna, we kind of want to call her out because yeah, of I think she, she said. may be incorrect. Did yeah. it have to do with something we already talked about? She was responding to nope. this is no. totally organic call. This is a story about her. Okay, okay. Let's hear what this caller challenge is about next on the Rulin Rang Show. Lister line number is seven one three two seven eight vent. I assure you. Go through every single call. Every single one of them is listened to. And if you uh, like to throw down challenges, <laughs> these suckers take it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> no, I mean, she, yeah, she, has a good, she has a good story. I just, uh-huh. uh, and you'll hear it. I just don't understand why 
it's a lesbian thing. What? Yeah. Okay, so you said yeah. 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 This is new she information. We would not air this yeah. because of her sexuality. Oh, okay. Well, so she said that because yeah. I haven't heard yeah. the call. You'll so hear it. Will you listen to but it? I'm, by like, the way, I'm like, the story that she tells, I'm like, that could happen to a straight person. A gay person. But special K, you'll hear it and understand why it's a I lesbian. Just, yeah, because I'm not a lesbian. Yeah, I'm warning you. <laughs> <laughs> I almost heard the side eye is, in your voice. Way, it's um, not a side eye at all. Okay, okay, I, got, I actually love it, but yeah, okay. go ahead. Okay, let's share what this challenge is. She is a bit of a fast talker, okay? I did not edit it her. We don't know anyone like that. her in any I way. I, it might be hard. We've never heard that before. So. She's never a fast heard fast talkers talker. before. Right, here we go. I don't know who I can tell this to, but here's a little segment idea that you'll never do because it's about gay people, and I know we can't talk about gay people when the sun's up. I want to know what the gayest thing that anybody has ever done and, like, people can call in and try to, like, out-gay each other because I'm pretty sure I just took the cake. I think I just did the gayest thing that's ever happened in the history of gayness. I just drove 800 miles round trip for a date. For one date, one night, a dinner, 800 miles round trip, 400 miles there, 400 miles back. I just did that. The gayest part of it is that the date was with my ex-wife. There's nothing gayer than that. There's absolutely nothing gayer than that. I know you can't talk about it on the air, probably, but Pride Month is coming up, so I figured, why not? You guys are the ones I was going to tell, so there you go. We can First talk about all, anything. Well, that I thing happened in are a straight very... relationship as well. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Of, like, but that then, has nothing to do with being gay. I told but... him about this on Sunday. I sent it to him. I go, am I wrong? I don't know. It's, I'm not it's gay. I know why is thing this the that lesbians thing? are known for jumping the gun. There's a joke that's like, what does a lesbian bring to the first date? A U-Haul. Like that, oh, they're that's funny. Sam knows the yeah, <laughs> they're known. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Move lesbos, in the next day. Uh-huh. Really? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, why, that means- why is that? Has anybody done a deep dive on that? Why is that universally it's, the thing? I think whereas with gay men, it's two men, so it's like very sexual and very that. With women, it's like more love. nesting. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna yeah. nest. Oh. Yeah, a woman, a woman wants that. You get yeah. two women together, and it's like double the. Now, yeah, he's, he's that, that word, that cringe word. Now. Double the nest. Okay, yeah. so double the commitment, like quicker yes. to commit. Yes. yes. And like, let's just do this. We already know we, we we're into it. Let's just go. Got it. Yeah. So for women, it's moving in together. For two guys, we always have the same mindset. Yeah. Let's hook up. Yeah. And women have the and same mindset. Get in my house. <laughs> yeah. And, all right. That's cool. Later. <laughs> Bye. But I mean, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Booster moved in the next day after okay. after met? we met. Mm-hmm. Really, the next day? Mm-hmm. It took no, me why? Two was months. he homeless? Yeah. About to leave? Come on, let's be over here. Let's be over here. Let's be over here. The next day, why, Kev? What's the, what was the situation? He was, he was still he was living. Out, wasn't he, or no, no, he was still living with his ex boyfriend's mom. Which is where they used to live. Oh, the ex-boyfriend's mom. Yes. Oh, that's, wow. That's so like he needed to get out. He needed to get out. Uh-huh. That's so, exactly like in Baby Reindeer. But uh, the boyfriend's mom was so f- kind and, and sweet and real granola. And I even went over to the mom's house to have dinner <laughs> with the ex-boyfriend's <laughs> mom. And the boyfriend was the ex wasn't He wasn't there. there. Oh, no, he wasn't no. there. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we, <laughs> Booster and I met on a Saturday night when I went to the clear to pick up some records. The next day, I had to spin at brunch. He came to see me at the end of brunch, helped me with my records to go home, and then just stayed there for the rest of our Never 20 years. <laughs> yeah. 20, <laughs> for the rest 24 of years later. <laughs> wow. Is this dude with me. Oh my That's God. really <laughs> something else. But also, it was a necessity. Aww. Like, I got to get out of my ex-boyfriend's uh, mom's probably. house. Probably. He's oh. like, you look nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wish yeah, we could so, fix my stuff. I wish we had more information. Like, why would you go? And why 400 miles? Where was well, this? Well, because and why round trip like that? Uh, maybe, the 400 each way. I'm maybe, sorry. Oh, yeah, you're right. She's trying to rekindle the relationship. She didn't sound like it. She just sounded like No, she said it was a dinner date. On a date? With her ex. Yeah, with her ex. And now, Eric is right. I think absolutely there's pl- plenty of straight people who would make bad decisions like that. Yes. Yes. I was just yeah. confused yeah. By it may not be a bad decision, though. What do you mean by the gayest? Why was that the topic? gayest sure. thing in the history of gay? Well, because of, like a stereotype of what's yeah. the gayest thing you've ever done? Because yeah. of that stereotype, I the guess. Stereotype. I think there's there's definitely Did you drive some a Subaru. Wasn't that the thing? More stereotypical <laughs> things like <laughs> that. Like Subaru. that. That's what I always heard. Is that what it is? Yes. Oh, God. That's what I was like. Oh, I can't get that car. I'm not a lesbian. That's <laughs> <No>. what I <laughs> <laughs> Okay, somebody on text know wants to know I'm regarding dead. the call we just played. She wasn't talking about moving in though. She was just talking about a date, a date. with her ex that was 800 miles uh, round trip is she now going to move back in with her ex or what we need more information again, says again. the texter just, right, here, here's just the beginning came, uh... i don't know who i can tell this to but here's a little segment idea that you'll never do because it's about gay people and i know we can't talk about gay people when the sun's up i want to know what the gayest thing that anybody has ever done and like people can call in and try to like out gay each other because i'm pretty sure i just took the cake mm-hmm. i think i just did the gayest thing that's ever happened in the history of gayness I just drove 800 miles round trip 
for a date, for one date, one night, a dinner, 800 miles round trip, 400 miles there, 400 miles back. I just did that. The gayest part of it is that the date was with my ex-wife. There's nothing gayer than that. There's absolutely nothing gayer than that. I know you can't talk about it on the air, probably, but Pride Month is coming up, so I figured why not? You guys are the ones I was going to tell, so there you go. I just don't understand. I mean, obviously, like, there's feelings there. You did that because you're trying to get back together, or it's just not over for one of you? Or was she lonely? Just wanted to the do 800 company. miles? Because it makes it sound, for her to say it's the Did gayest the thing night? ever, then that means that's how far she went for dinner. love. It sounds like just dinner. Yeah. Turned around and came what back. What would be like 800, what would be 400 miles? Yeah, where's like 400 Dallas miles away? Is Dallas and back? Dallas okay, and so like back. A four, four hour drive. That's what it was. All right, yeah. Well, if, it's, if you're going 100 miles an hour, it's a four hour Could drive. Could be Austin. <laughs> Could be Austin, <laughs> yeah. right? Was yeah. that three, yeah. three hours? Maybe. No, three Austin's, half, maybe. yeah, three. Austin's closer. Or two yeah. Yeah. Austin's definitely closer. Where so you're yeah, at Dallas. Austin. or you go to LA? Yeah, yeah. so like Worth. Dallas is like, right now, if we GPS, it's three hours, 54 minutes. How right. many miles? 247. Oh, okay. Okay. So like 247 oh, miles. Oh, like so cold a city. Or New Orleans. Orleans. Wow. Maybe going to New Orleans. Yeah, it's almost about six hours. Let me check that. Hold on. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like that's, I don't know if we have an answer to that. But also for her to say, we don't talk about gay things in the daylight. Oh, you New Orleans is right? only 364. How many? New Orleans Three, what? 364 right, miles so from close. here. close. So about that. Well, that's like yeah. seven hours. Somewhere right? around New Orleans. It's six or seven hours yeah. around traffic. A that's, that's, that's a long day. And, and if I've you also, had like to say you, you drove seven and a half hours one way, have a four hour date and seven and a half back. And I also, I always heard that um, well, it's not an easy night. drive to New Orleans and because I, I was fly and my husband and I finally actually drove to New Orleans once to save on airfare. That's a cracker barrel. That is not a nice drive. No, that's why I take the train. Yeah, it's really long. Yeah, but the train takes you 10 hours. It does not. It took the same amount of time. Where's the beverage Maybe like an <laughs> hour later. Yeah, there's a full-on uh, dining car with s- actual silverware up in there. Do you need pictures from that time? I do. I, I do. It's see lovely. Pictures. You don't get all those, like, Instagram reels, Rula. Like, everybody's like, take the train with me. Where do you get on uh-huh. that? Where do you go? Where do you get It's next to the police station downtown. Okay. I just have these no, images on, in my head of like Houston a guy Avenue. coming around. And he's got like the little pillbox conductor hat. Absolutely. He does. And he's, he does. Yeah. Clicking your ticket. So Absolutely. what happens when they find out you didn't pay for this ticket or you should have gotten kicked off? Yeah. They just like stop the train and throw you off? Oh, like, no. They, 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 they check right your away. ticket before you get on. As you're walking on uh, to it, they're. Okay. they're, they're it's probably like a TSA ticket. type world now. Yeah. Oh, that's I'm right. Because sure. when I was on the East Coast, we used to take the Amtrak from like. Philly Street Station. Down right. And then they walk around. They walk around after you're already on the train to check your ticket. I took it to Chicago from Dallas and, uh, it's, it took me 24 hours. And in the and middle of the night, they stopped the train. I'm like, we're not moving. Oh, yeah. Just, just pull over the for like four hours. I had oh, no blanket, man. no pillow. I didn't know how this worked. Uh, yeah, I you got to get sleepers car. looking for I don't a, think I'd like that. It was awful. It was the worst. Oh, by the way, you like, mentioned- Back then, it was $7 for a beer. Wow. Oh, I can imagine now. This is like 2001. No, it is the same price. Really? It is definitely the same. And they have dogfish I bring my own booze with me. But why would you you choose that over an airline ticket? Because here's the thing with the the airline ticket. Once you get there, then you have to pay for an Uber to get from the airport to downtown. And that costs more than the train ticket. Oh, how much is the train ticket? uh, $40. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're not that expensive. I I don't know. I just enjoy the price in New Orleans Unless if you have to leave today. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get an airplane ticket today. And leave. Oh, I was going to tell you. Expensive. Did you yes. see this in the paper this morning? As of today, um, you can actually sign up for the Clear and TSA pre-check at the same time without any need for an appointment. So say, it's new, say that again. You can get Clear and TSA pre-check simultaneously when you sign up. Man, I already wow. have TSA pre-check. I mean, how do I add clear, clear to clear it? Let's you cut the lines. Yeah, but so does yeah. TSA, TSA pre-check. Does I'd rather Are have they just two competing companies? Pretty I much, it seems well, like I, have it. The clear. I thought they had the same benefits. No, but no, but they don't because with Clear, you still have to take off your shoes. No, no, that might not. TSA, you don't take I, your yeah, shoes. Yeah, TSA, well, no, honey. TSA pre-check yeah. for yeah. years now. You go now. to the Bahamas, you just go TSA right there. Yeah, just uh-huh. walk right there. By the way, this texture makes a good point. Uh, 37530. My coworker has this collar beat, and he's straight. He flew to a whole other country for a first date with somebody that he met on an app. Oh, that's a first not date. Not just a gay thing, he said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that could be a... That's kidnapping. That's a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a kidnapping Netflix documentary well, about like crime. Over 18. I'm yeah. like, oh, what's happening there? Um, you know, people do fly everywhere f- to do random stuff, but I don't know how far. If you go for a date that far, then you must We've already talked feel about like you're already in love. How far yeah. do people go for haircuts? I, I, I used to do that. I do a really I used to go to Philly for my haircut. Yeah, you dry, you I would fly to Philly for my haircut. When I moved to Philadelphia, I lived there what? for three years, and I met this girl named Janine, and I loved the way she would cut my hair. <laughs> when I moved back to Houston for the Rule and Ryan show, I didn't have an allegiance to anybody. And I was like, God, I really miss Janine's haircuts. And my sister was a flight attendant at the time for Continental Airlines, and I was her companion pass rider, which means if there was a seat that was empty, 
it would be mine oh, if free. I showed up for the right flight at the right time and nobody that still takes outranked time. me. Outranked mm-hmm. me. You can't just you have to. No, but I would to plan to go airport. for the weekend. I would I would call Janine and say, "Do you have openings on Saturday? I'm going to fly to Philly and get my hair cut." She goes, "Sure." I would check the loads of the airplanes on Friday, and after the show, I would see which load has the best chance for me to get a free seat. I would get on the seat. I'd go to Philly. I'd hang out with my friends. I'd get my hair cut, and I'd come back. Because it was a free oh, flight. Nice. I don't remember you, you this. It's funny, I don't remember it. Yeah, yeah I did fire. this in the first like two years of the Rule and Range. What did wow. we talk about? I don't remember. We did. I don't remember. What's stopping. the furthest you've ever gone for something? We totally, absolutely did it because the lady called our show and said she goes to Mexico City for her haircuts. Because mm. I brought that up. How now far do you go, go for, for something? Other Actually, it's pretty cheap to get to Mexico City on Aero Mexico. Okay. And I think they still serve you lunch on Aero Mexico. Last time I was on mm. there, I was like, all right, it's food. Are you, are you sitting <laughs> on a crate? No, Aero Mexico is a legit airline. It's like it's their, like, their number one airline. It's not like no. your other discount <laughs> flights that you take. No, 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 no. It's no, it's no, uh, what's the, w- there's a, like a, a small airline called, called like uh, Viva or something like that and, uh, or Intermix and huh. it flies into little places like Monterrey Ooh. and th- those ones are like where you sit on tops of the oh. chicken boxes. Hey, wait, <laughs> that plane just dropped a bale of something. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? So anyway, y'all can leave that, um, that message on the listener line if you'd like to share with us at 713-278-VENT. Maybe you've uh, flown somewhere to do mm-hmm. something like a haircut, uh, a massage. Um, I don't know. What, what else is a service that you would pay for mm-hmm. that you have to go there for? Uh, since we're out of time, if you, because uh, someone's like, I'm a lesbian, I can explain. Call the listener line and yeah. you can explain. Or should yeah. we just have them call next and explain it to us? You can call right now if you want or listener line either or. We'll get, we'll maybe see. we'll get an example. Yeah. <laughs> love you lesbians. We love you. So call in if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's calling right now. Thank you, Ahmad. For clarifying. <laughs> Let's get the update next <laughs> on the Rulin' Radio Show. Y'all. All right, coming up next on the Roland Ryan Show. Well, right now we're just going to go straight to Ashley. We're getting the answer. Because we said, uh, hang up if we, we got a phone call from somebody who said, oh, the gayest thing I ever did in the history of gay everything is driving 800 miles round trip for a date with my ex-wife. And we said, well, that could be for straight people too. But somebody texted us and said, I can explain this. I can explain this. So all I know is that Ahmad wrote Ashley, the lesbian caller, is standing by. <laughs> <laughs> is that okay? All right. Hi, Thank Ashley. You. Hi, Ashley. Good morning. Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy to talk to you. you Every morning, you guys are so special. My morning doesn't, my day doesn't go right without you guys. Oh, I I hear that. Thank you, Ashley. So tell us what you want to explain to us because we're confused. Okay, understandable. This is my wheelhouse. Um, So there's two (laughs) two stereotypes she's playing off of. And one is that they nailed it, right, the U-Haul stereotype. But another is that the lesbian community tends to be very borderline incestuous right it's not very big and so you end up kind of dating your ex or your ex's exes Mm. i don't but i mean i did reconcile with my ex after we divorced i did date my ex-wife after we divorced so how long were y'all married for i'm just curious how long were y'all married we were married for five years and then when did y'all reconcile after the divorce like how much time had passed um about a year now did you you just hookups or was it like you were actually back together we we kind of attempted, and oh, no, we're not still together. Um, no, I remarried. I have an amazing wife now. Her name is Erica. She's the best thing in the world. Um, but I, it is very common for lesbians to kind of date within the known community, if that makes sense. Okay. So it's, and, and like, there's a running joke about getting back together with exes and things like that. So that's what she's playing off of. Is it the gayest thing in the world? Not really. All right. <laughs> so it's about going back to the <laughs> well. Amazing in the world. That's funny. That happens with anybody, yeah. I think. It, it totally can. Well, because you, totally feel, can. you feel safe. Well, like you said, if there's a smaller amount of people, though, mm-hmm. you feel safe. Oh, the pool is smaller. The pool yeah. is smaller. Your pool is smaller. You can't do like Kevin used to do with Grinder. you know, back in the day. Now, oh, right now. There's, there's, no, there's no need to call out. This is about her. I was her. like, nah, <laughs> <laughs> it's not about me. <laughs> 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 you know the thing, Ken, <laughs> Eric, <laughs> you know, you shoot a BB gun at you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's going to pull out a cannon. <laughs> Haven't I been through enough? <laughs> 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 That's true. Ashley, <laughs> thanks lately. for the explanation, and thanks for listening to the Rule and Ryan show. So thanks loyally, you we love you. so much. We love you so much. Oh, oh, God. God. So hey, what about the Subaru thing? Thank Does that make you mad? Oh, Ashley, yeah. Does that make you mad? Eric said he didn't think he could buy a Subaru because he's not a lesbian. No, you should totally buy a Subaru, and I'm so jealous. I keep begging my wife for a new Subaru, but I drive a Prius. I think you I just mean, answered your own question. There. <laughs> I know, I want one so bad. They're so, they they're so useful. They are cute. But do you agree I'm with that, that the majority of your friends who are lesbians, that's their brand of car? 
them, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, a lot of them drive Subaru. <laughs> why? I wonder why Subaru out. doesn't advertise. Why? Why, Ashley? Do you know why? Uh, there's a lot of lesbians who do a lot of outdoorsy stuff. Mm. So you got a lot of very sporty lesbians. They like to hike. There's a running joke about their les- the lesbians and their rescue dogs, right? And they love to go hike with their mm. rescue dogs, to <laughs> camp with their rescue dogs, which mm. I also have rescue dogs. So I was about you know. to ask you, do you have a lab? I have a pit bull lab, but I also, so my new wife, I knew she was the one when I fostered a litter of puppies. And she came and repaired my drywall. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You <laughs> called about that before. That's awesome. I did. She's amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. That's that like a question? Booster's got you, yeah, Kev. Kev. Yes. The drywall. Booster is real good with drywall. Like, don't let me do that pretty stuff. <laughs> so, so somebody cut into their something because of the storm. Can Booster be hired on the side? Uh, he probably doesn't want to do that. It's too I'm hot. I'm sure he does not want to do that. Poor <laughs> no, thing. And by the way, if heavy. you guys missed earlier, we talked to an actual human from Centerpoint. It wasn't just an alert. Uh, you can listen to our podcast page after the show. In the 7 o'clock hour, we talked to um, Logan Anderson, and she gave us some insight on the map grid. If you're still out of power, about 140,000 people are still without power. Some people are very frustrated, like uh, the family that's staying with me is super frustrated because they don't have power yet, but all their neighbors got it back, and they don't have it. And so we were talking about pockets where it says, oh, your power's back, but you're still the Lone Ranger. And that's actually called that a nested outage, and that means Centerpoint Systems indicated power was restored to the equipment serving area, but your home may be impacted. So the number you're supposed to call for that issue. is 713-207-2222. If you are without power and people around you have power and maybe you got an alert that says, you got power! 713-207-2222. Isn't it funny how you really appreciate it? Like you oh, yeah. Just used it's to like have power all the time, mm-hmm. air conditioning, and then all of a sudden... Mm-hmm. And happens. it's like, and when your power goes out, like you're Kevin's, like... You're when you get like, yours back, Kevin, you're going to be... Oh, yeah. yeah I'm going to I'm I'm turn that down to 65 yeah. degrees. <laughs> 65 <laughs> degrees. Yeah. Remember, he bragged a few weeks ago, like, oh, I'm a lizard. I like it warm I like it hot. hot. Well, there you go, buddy. Well, now I'm dying. <laughs> Are you the kind of house, Kevin, that if we came to visit, like, for a get-together, we'd be sweating because you leave your air like a 78? I, do. I come over half naked. Oh, yeah. my, oh, he my. Keeps it hot. Come I do on. keep it around 77 oh, on the ranks. Oh, my God. Yeah. 77. I take Santiago's clothes off. I'm like, you're During a diaper baby now. I can't be friends with you. Seven. At night, I put it down to 69. Uh, because Booster makes me. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to sleep cold. Yeah. It's actually very good to sleep cold. Yeah, Absolutely. But, but I can't, I can't be over tonight. It feels fine. I'll feels give fine. you a ruler's blanket. Aren't you oh, better yeah, off keeping nice it like at 72 all the whole the whole time? Yeah. It's, it's got to be 77 to 69 when, when the system really be kicking in. But no one is no one is there. You know? Like, why would I keep the house so cold and pay for all that uh, AC? 72 is not cold. You walk in, you get the whoosh. You get the refreshing AC from the outdoor heat. I have that Echo one. You can set up the times from like 10 till 2 it, oh, it'll like, it'll make it hotter conservation to, times yeah yeah i have no i have the smart thermostat and i have it all programmed all throughout the day where i want it to go i don't like sometimes it overrides you like oh, yes it, my yeah. God, like, no, the I makes me crazy. Like, no no usually you're not here but i'm like covid's here i yeah, know i had to fight stuff. mine i right. pulled it out and put an old school one in that's so why new machines are definitely gonna take over the machines mm-hmm. they um, are and another thing we learned today and i said i speak for the people who invested in a generator to power their house things i learned even yesterday i was worried that it's been day five with no power and this thing is still going what's going to happen to it? is going to crap out on me or whatever and i learned yesterday from the generator supplier you have to make sure if if, if this has taken you over the edge and you have had a knockout drag out fight with your mate saying that's it we're not going to live like this again for the next door we're going to get a generator you need to talk to the person that has options to install it and find out what load you need because if you were to run your ac unit and your refrigerator and your washer and dryer and 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 you got to make sure it's load powered for that so that you don't have a generator and then you're that person that it crapped out on it oh yeah because it. you overdid it you said you have people in your house and you always say you like to go in your house whip off the bra <laughs> and just enjoy life well that was my so now days when the last five around. days you got to be feel like you're no more in sports bra yeah i was gonna say sports just wear a baggy shirt you're fine yeah sports bra no, unless you're fine. going to kevin's house yeah. yeah. Listen, man, if you're going to have a party, suit. Kevin, or have people over, <laughs> you're supposed to actually turn down days. your air before the party starts because the body heat is going to make it hotter in the house. Yeah. So if you're at 77 before we come over, mm-hmm. it's going to be like 82 yeah. and we're, at, we're Your there. ceiling fan is very strong. I'll give you but that. But that does not. That all it does is move around warm air. It does yeah. Feel, yeah. It's it like feels it, nice. We've all done club party gigs. Party etiquette, y'all. Look, we've all done club gigs where we have, you know, hey, I'll be at this club tonight. And it's freezing when you first get there because it's so early. They know to make it super cool because when you've got... 
500 people at 98.6, that place is going to super And they're dancing heat. and they're drinking and it's uns, 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 uns and the body the heat. Nitrogen dropped or the... Well... Ooh, that'd be yeah, that, in South Beach, they have yeah, the liquid Beach. nitrogen. That's pretty cool. But, I mean, over the past 18 years that I've worked with y'all, n- uh, y'all have never been to any of my houses. because yeah, y'all. Us. Well, because I know you'll get too hot and complaining. No, that must be that's it. bull crap. You just made that up because I just said it. <laughs> yeah, you just don't invite us. bull crappers. He's like, ooh, I don't, Sharpstown, I don't, I don't go into I this neighborhood. I was born and raised in Sharpstown. That's her hood. That mall was my life when I was a child. A no, Sharpstown. Now? I don't know, I'll just go visit my mom, but really my mom's house is Christie's. <laughs> That's true. I, I've been yeah. in my mom's house in such a long time. Well, Kevin, you're not exactly making it enticing. <laughs> Come over and sweat to death. <laughs> That's I would how he probably. Keeps away. I mean, that's, now sweat. that we moved into a tiny house, I call it a tiny house because it's so tiny. Three hundred square feet. Yes, it is. Tiny and so house. we would have a party <laughs> outside. If we ever invite anyone over, it's going to be an outside party because we have a huge yard now. I've been to Rula's yeah. house uh, and Sam's house. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. I've been to Kevin's houses. Mm. Or uh, Ryan, you tried to have a party a couple of years ago. Nobody went. And then no, COVID hit. Yeah, oh. COVID hit. Plus, it's so far out there. It's like <laughs> I'd be like yeah. that lesbian <laughs> lady. <laughs> I feel like commute for miles. miles. I feel like. Have a party, Ryan. Your pool yeah. looks really yeah, you nice. Have a pool. Yeah. You should throw the party. Vince Daddy. Vince Daddy Pool. The Ryan Show on KRBE. To tell you what's going down. Vince Daddy Pool. 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 Vince Daddy
killing you. And for those that don't know, the hell I passed with my builder, Rot McCracken, who built this house. And it was our dream home, and we had to leave it. And I've been through three years of hell. They interviewed me for this. Is your house killing you? And I posted it on my Instagram. I'll put it on my on my. Um, Twitter, I mean, my Instagram, like Twitter, all my socials, at Radio Rula. And it's tw- quick 20 minutes for you to check your house because where you're about to lose a right that you have to investigate mold. They're trying to make you not have the right to investigate the kind of mold that's making you sick because you don't know you're getting sick. And the story of the mom before me is gut-wrenching. Thank God her kids are healthy now and my kids are healthy again. But terrible time in my life. But Wendell Chafino, thanks for the good work you did in that 20-minute little video. Is your house killing you? At Radio Rula on X and Instagram. And you can buy a mold test online. The, the smaller ones. Mm-hmm. I know you, you probably did the professional level. Yeah, but if you, you can. You know, just for something. Do you know how many people right Give now? Peace of mind. With mm-hmm. peace trees mind. falling in their house and Yes. And mold. yes. Oh my yes. God. Yeah. That's really Sam, important to get on yeah. that. Big leak. Super important to get on that. So, y'all, uh, check that out. Thank you so much. Coming up next, what happened on Revenge today? Well, Danielle got after her her boss, Justin, for not being. Well, he <laughs> he's asked an her HR out. nightmare. He asked, he asked her out on a date. She said she loved the job. He asked her out on a date. And when she said no, he made things difficult at work. So, we're going to hear it next on the Rule and Ryan show.